Gregor Mendel was an Augustinian friar known to fire of genetics. At his monastery in Brno, Moravia, he bred pea plants cultivating thousands in just eight years to create hybrids. These observations led to one of the most important experiments in genetic history, the principles of inheritance. One of these experiments was the colour of peas and sativum flowers. Mendel crossed pure lines of pea plants to produce a purple F1 hybrid offspring, all of which were dominant, whilst the master recessive trait conferring white colour reappeared when the F1 hybrids were crossed of each other, giving rise to F2 hybrid offspring. Mendel noted that these traits were in a ratio of 1 to 2 to 1. Mendel thus established the principles of inheritance we still use today. Genes exist in pairs, and one is inherited from each parent as a dominant or recessive trait. The work was published in 1866, but being too far ahead of his time, given genes and DNA weren't even English language words, with Mendel calling genes factors, it wasn't acknowledged until 1900, long after his death, when free plant biologists rediscovered his work and sparked awareness of the Mendelian laws of inheritance. It wasn't until 144 years later, in 2010, when science and technology advanced significantly, well, maybe not all advancements were successful, Work was published by scientists who finally found the actual gene responsible for the purple and white flower colours in Mendel's peas. It was known that anthocyanin was responsible for flower colours from red to purple, and that genes corresponding to basic helix loop helix transcription factors, NYB transcription factors, and WD40 proteins, no, not that one, played a central role in regulating biosynthesis in Petunias arabidopsis phaliana, and maize. In 2010, the genome for Pisum sativum wasn't sequenced because it was so large, but the genome was known to be collinear to Medicago truncatula, which has a known genome sequence and is closely related to the P. Using the M truncatula genome, researchers narrowed the study down to the BHLH transcription factor as MYB and WD40 candidate genes were found in locations not syntenic with linkage group 2 of a P, where the A locus, named after Mendel's IA factor, was known from previous studies. It was also known that the white flower colour determined by a recessive allele was due to the disruption of a regulatory gene, but the purpose of the gene and how mutation disrupted the regulatory gene was unknown, so researchers aimed to figure out the genetic basis of such colours to crack the Mendelian mystery of inheritance. The researchers investigated the A locus found in linkage group 2 of a P by comparing it to the genome sequence of M. truncatula, the location of the A locus and CD72 marker was known before the study. During the study, the researchers found a complementary DNA RFLP marker, PPCF1, closely linked to the A locus in the P, which was used along with the CD72 marker to find which gene was on the A locus. The researchers found that a BHLH transcription factor was within one megabase of the region defined by the like markers in M. truncatula, indicating that the BHLH gene could be responsible for producing anthocyanin in the P. Now that they knew where the BHLH gene was, primers specific to the P BHLH gene were used to identify two BIC clones to define the coding area around the A locus in the P by amplifying a DNA, thus identifying any differences in the gene model. The purple flowered P line had a bit intact BHLH gene, whilst the white flowered P line had a BHLH gene 92% conserved relative to the purple flowered P line, with 16 single nucleotide polymorphisms. Out of the 16 SNPs, only one silent mutation in the GT splice donor site was found exclusively on white flowered lines, indicating it could be responsible for white flower colour. This mutation generated a misspliced transcript. Using complementary DNA, the researchers found that the mutated white flower line had eight additional base pairs assigned to intron 6 compared to the purple flower line. These nucleotides constituted a frame shift mutation, resulting in a premature stop, reducing mRNA accumulation. The level of BHLH mRNA was generally lower in white flowers than purple flowers, providing confirmation that A is a BHLH transcription factor. Using a gene gun, they complemented the white flower phenotype through transient expression to confirm the hypothesis that the BHLH gene identified was the mysterious A gene. 
Y flowers were bombarded with BIC DNA from a purple flowered line, PI269818, and the positive control construct for Petunia AN1, both of which include a BHLH gene, generated cells that accumulate anthocyanin. A construct for MYB transcription factor, Petunia AN2, also generates cells accumulating anthocyanin, albeit to a lesser extent. The green fluorescent protein, a negative control, did not restore pigmentation in white flowers. BHLH was indeed responsible for pea plant colour. The mystery of Mendel's pea colour was solved.